The majority of the artwork that you do is very abstract, and uh, yes, how did you start end up with that particular type well, of style? Um, the, the the combination of of taking a more a realistic approach um, in public work is one that um, it's something that I've had the ability to do and that I can do, and I enjoy doing in certain um in certain aspects but when it's my own personal work i am really interested in, in just the play of color shape and form and um line and seeing how those things react to one another within like the more abstract format mm -hmm. and the realism and more representational work is something that i can have in my toolbox or when it is needed. And, but my heart is really more what with the abstract creations that I have been, that I've been focusing on. Is there an influence that kind of inspired the, the type of work that you do right now? Um, well, the, the latest series of like these color forms that are all kind of, kind of jumbled, but they all lead back to the beginning and the end mm -hmm. are the same. And then the journey continues on. So there's a lot of, you know, kind of like Gordian knots in a way where they, where they uh, all travel in these seemingly impossible directions, but in the end they come back to the beginning and then the journey starts over. So I started calling these creations wave journeys because as oh. they, the lines and forms go up and around one another. I kind of look at them as breathing in, breathing out as you are going up and down. So I see these as kind of a, uh, almost a meditation of, of breath. And this new work kind of came out of a place where I started drawing again and um, was doing a lot of drawing and um, my drawing is starts out being doodles and then it kind of goes someplace. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as, so it's not like doodles per se, but it's more of a intentional doodle and intentional drawing and thinking of, of what I'm trying to do while still allowing that freedom to just let it flow uh, at the same time. And it was these the act of drawing kind of led to then the act of making them on uh, aluminum and cutting out the big pieces that I've been doing now. Yeah. So um, the, the, the process of, of this work, you know, it did, it, it's been an evolving and what, what is really amazing to me about this series is that in the course of two years, it went from being small eight by 10 drawings to now on the side of buildings. Right. And, I just think there is a, a certain power in a in a vision that that has that can be scalable up and down, and it works on on all sorts of different types of mediums as well. Mm -hmm. And I want to say, and this isn't so. This is just an example of something I thought of when I looked at it, and it's. I, I just wanted to share it. I used to work um, back when I was in high school. I used to work at a place that was called Artwave, and okay. it, it was a place that. We did, um, I mean, eventually we just went on to sell like pop culture items and it kind of became like a Spencer's gifts. But originally what it was is it was a place where spin art was a big thing and people could sure. come in and make t-shirts where we had this big spinner and you'd put a t-shirt in there and there were holes at the top and kids would just squirt paint into it. Right. But they oh, would, that's neat. It, it was, it was kind of neat. Um, wearing it as a shirt was weird cause it was just big globs <laughs> of paint, but that was the thing. Yeah. Cause the kids would spray so much paint and it would get so thick that it would spin, but then they'd kind of, the, the paint wouldn't mix, but they would, cre they would just kind of meld together. And mm -hmm. that was what you could do is like when you were done, you could run your finger through it and it would be like this weird little trail that it would create. And looking at that artwork, that's what it reminds me of is of that paint where it used to be this giant paint. It would kind of like, it was several different colors molded into one like liquid thing, not mixed together where it like was, sure you know, interacting and it, you would create a strip. And that's kind of what the look of that reminds me of. When I first saw it, it reminded me of being yeah. back in high school and it, it gave me that thought. I just wanted to share that. It was just like, that's oh, nice. that's what I thought no, of when I saw that. 
you know? And that, that's one of the most beautiful things that I think art, it, it has a power to transform. It has a power to take us back to a certain place and time in our lives. And the, 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 the power of that of one person's creation, because I most definitely was not thinking of a, about a spinner or anything like <laughs> right. that, but, 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 but the fact that it took you there, right. I think that's just, that that's magical to me. Yeah. And, and I think that I, I, I don't know. It, it, it's, it is, it's, it's just magical. 